I think I'm being stalked. What's up guys, it's Greeny. I'm back in Thailand, finally. What a trip to America. So happy to be back, but it feels like I've been in a fog the last week. It takes a while to shake that jet lag and everything. Finally starting to feel back awake. I'm heading over to the dark side to meet some buddies at a uh, little coffee shop restaurant. Real good food though, amazing food. I'll take you guys with me, let you guys know what's new with me, what's gonna be new on my channel, what's happening, you know, all that bullshit. Let's head out. As always, when you're doing your transaction, let me show you. This shit right here, they want to do the conversion. You want no, continue with no conversion. Dirty bastards trying to scam you that way. Money, money, money. Money. This is the place, La Creamery. I think it's Belgium. Maybe French, but I think Belgium. Really good food. Let's get in there. Of course, driving here, I overshot it by like 10 roads. I probably went five kilometers past the place. Oh, not a very big lunch crowd today, hey? So this is the place. Nice little dining room. They got a bakery right in the inside. Hello. Ice cream, fresh baked breads. Back here, bacon stuff. Oh, looks like they're making little pot pies or something. Hearts. I may have to get a little little uh, snack to take home with me. Look at this stuff. Look how crunchy that bread looks. I hate that it sits out like that, but I'll probably buy it anyways. The menu. what I ordered. I asked her if I should get the stew or the chicken stew. She said the chicken stew is good. Haven't had that yet. So all kinds of cool stuff to eat here. Sandwiches, breakfast, salads. All right, I'll show you my food when it comes. Fred's burger looks pretty amazing. Look at that. Oh, oh wrong person? I just... Why did they put your food in front of me? I didn't touch it. All right, this guy just got a burger. Let's see what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Thank you. Oh my this guy has a name. This guy, Ditching Corporate Chris, okay. Very popular YouTuber in the Philippines. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I think I'm the winner, winner chicken, chicken dinner. Chicken pie? Chicken stew with chicken. meatballs, salad, mayonnaise. Charles, you want my mayonnaise? Oh my god, look at that. What kind of burger is that? The Parma burger. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna try this chicken stew. This looks pretty freaking amazing. Usually you see the picture and it the meal never looks like the picture. This looks just like it. It's like rotisserie chicken, super soft. But the gravy is super rich. I mean, I'm not going to have to eat again today, I don't think.
Right, what'd you get, Charles? It's supposed to be uh, seafood pasta. Holy Squid, God. mussels, shrimp. Oh my oh, God. Yeah, yeah. It's hopefully some lobster in there too. No. But I doubt it. That looks amazing though. Oh my God, that looks so good. I am so stuffed right now. That was one hell of a friggin' meal. That gravy on my chicken stew, it wasn't like chicken gravy. It was like, like breakfast sausage gravy. So thick and hearty, like, I don't think I'm gonna eat again for a week, but pretty good. So what's been new? Now that I'm back in Thailand, it's like, this first eight days, I've been in like a haze. I'm still in a haze a little bit. I slept 14 hours yesterday. <sighs> Jet lag, when you get older, it just sucks. That's why I was dreading going home to America. I knew, I knew that it would be like this. It's almost like taking four weeks out of my life that's just disappeared. It's like I was in such a groove working out, doing all that type of stuff. And now, now I gotta get readjusted. So literally, the day after I got back to Thailand, my, oh, speak of the devil. Literally the day after I got to Thailand, my buddy here, somebody, Charles. Somebody call my name? Yeah. <laughs> he shows up the day after I get here. His flight was the next day. He just recently retired. And I met with him while I was in America. And we made a video about all the steps that he did, the plan to move out here, and how I thought he did things kind of the right way. Make sure you subscribe, and that'll be a future video too. But you stalking me, bro? Uh, no. Any regrets no, so just, far? Uh, any regrets? No any, regrets. Any, anything to say so after one week in Thailand? No regrets. Best move I could have ever made. Yeah. I hate I waited so long. That's that's your only. Everybody says that's the only regret. I waited too long. So Charles got here. He's trying to get adjusted, trying to figure everything out like a newbie, looking at motorbikes. He said to me the other day, "Should I just buy a car?" I'm like, "Dude, you've been here four days. You don't even know like a thousand percent if you're gonna stay. Just rent a friggin' motorbike." So I just told him to go take a ride on mine to see how he likes it. I got a 155, and then I think this other guy's gonna let him drive a three. What is yours? A three what? Three what? Three hundred? Three hundred cc. One fifty five is good for me. He may have a little more tonnage than I do. And I told him to go down the block and come back. Now I'm starting to get worried. I shouldn't have let him get out of my sight. Here he comes, here he comes. Just pull up right there, sir. That enough power for you, you think? Yeah. 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 Power, I like it. It works good. You can get all power. over. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'll sell it to you for 45. 45 bucks? 45. Deal. I'll take it any oh, day. Oh, all right. Shit. 45 bucks. I'll take it any day. I'm just not used to a bike where I don't have to shift gears. That's just, that's so cool. Oh, boy. Now he's trying this guy's, this guy's bike. Did you just say sorry, sorry, sorry? Sorry, sorry, sorry. What's sorry, sorry? What does that Canadian. mean? Oh, Canadian. That's right. Watch the gravel. That's the number one thing in Thailand is to watch gravel. You gotta have it runs off your phone though, so you gotta have the phone on for this to go, right? Sink it, yeah, the long term, you're okay. Yeah, sink your phone too. Yeah, you gotta get off, man, right? Yeah, yeah, you gotta get off. You can't keep it. Which one are you gonna get? I don't know, man. I'd probably something like that because it's gonna be trying to navigate. Oh, yeah, it's a Honda, but ECX is like this, yeah, but a 160, but it's got bars, you know, this like real bars. You might, if you're from a hard, that you might like them more. And it's a little wider, a little wider, like comfortable seat. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys. All right, see you, Chris. So over the past few months before I left Thailand to go to America, and now that I'm back, I've acquired quite an addiction. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm addicted to now. So this is it, Cha Manao, lemon tea.
and it is so good. I get it with no sugar. So delicious, so refreshing. I usually get the iced coffee in the morning, but during the day when I'm sweating my ass off, this is just so refreshing. Also, like when I go for a long walk and I stop like while I'm walking, it's just more refreshing than coffee. It's so good. So I've been back in Thailand like, oh, it's today, Wednesday. So like about eight days. Um, and you guys just saw my buddy Charles. He actually retired eight weeks ago and he had been kind of planning this out for years. He actually was gonna come a year ago and finally he pulled the trigger. He just got here. He just got into a one year lease, uh, cozy beach area, Pratamnak. And um, I'll let him tell you about all that stuff. He's thinking about starting a little channel to, to document his, uh, his new life here in Thailand. And he's got, He's got a lot of good uh, perspective on things, uh, different things than what I do on my channel. So I'll uh, link his channel in, not in this video. I got another video that'll be coming up in the future um, where I interviewed him when we were in America. Eventually I'll get that edited and put that up. And um, you know, he made a lot of big plans to come out here, did a lot of research and uh, should be pretty interesting. But immediately when I arrived, um, the lady I've been dating, uh, she lives in Bangkok and um, she sells insurance and she had to go get her transcripts from her high school for some whatever class, um, what do they call it? Like um, financial um, financial advisor class. She had to have these transcripts for this certain class that she was taking. So we had to drive all the way across the country. I'm gonna make a little video about that. Um, I got to see a little bit of the Isan, Isan countryside and um, show you guys that but what else am i going to do with my channel now that i'm back so so like i said i've been dating somebody i think i'm going to make another video about my last year and a half since i've been divorced dating in thailand and um there's been some ups some downs some interesting stories and um i think i'll make a video about that just to fill you guys in on where i'm at now but the lady that i've been uh dating we've taken it pretty slow get to know each other and just you know hang out more but you know i live here she lives in bangkok so we get together sometimes spend you know a little bit of time each month together and that's fine for me that's pretty good i don't mind that so she's been in a few of my videos little clip bits and everybody's like who's that greenie you got a girlfriend oh greenie you getting married again or if i put a picture on my facebook greenie your new wife your new girl i mean come on guys whatever you know people date in thailand i'm not gonna live in thailand and uh um just you know date myself So I think it'll be good for my channel to add a, another perspective, have her in a, you know, some of the videos when we're together. Um, but it's still gonna be a solo channel, Greeny Travels. You know, my channel's so discombobulated. It's, uh, you know, I'm going from police story to real estate to Thailand life to travel to Europe to America, whatever. It's just, there's no genre, there's no, there's no organization on my channel. It's just discombobulated. And do I care? No, I don't care. It's not my, uh, not my livelihood. I'm just gonna document whatever. I gotta tell you, when I'm not making YouTube, it's like, like at night, like it's pretty boring. Like if I don't have videos to edit or doing stuff, like this really does keep you busy. People are like, oh, you got a job, Greeny. That's a job. No, you know, I enjoy it. I like going through my videos and editing, and it's a good time. So many things when you get back from out of town. I gotta take my car into maintenance tomorrow. That was a pain in the ass. Mazda, if you ever buy a Mazda, everything's in Thai. The app, the phone, the website, everything. I'd have a Thai person um, make my appointment. There's a QR code. I guess you just snap that on your phone and you can make an appointment to take your car in for service, but I couldn't figure it out myself. Everything's in Thai, so got that going. We'll do that this week. I'm gonna head to Bangkok on Sunday. Hopefully I can make a nice video on Bangkok, show you guys something new or not new. I have no idea what I'm even gonna do, but I'll try to find something. Anyways, I think these girls think I'm fucking talking to myself here in Amazon. They probably think, they don't even know I'm videotaping, they probably think this guy's talking to himself, what a loser. I love this place though, I love this cha manau tea, so good. All right, guys, just a little 
quick video. I'm back in Thailand. I'll get some regular videos with like more rhythm, more more direction going. Just if you don't mind subscribing, follow my channel, give me a thumbs up, and uh, hopefully I'll have a few interesting videos coming out in the near future. Grinny out.